Inspector? I've been waiting for this. Tell me, Inspector, who killed Halcyon Helm? I should have stayed back on the ship with Ada. You know, boss, there are days I wonder how you made it this far without accidentally shooting yourself. Old strategy, Captain. Let's see if it works out. It's astounding you haven't been the death of me, Captain. Sam says, let your auto mechanical do the dirty work while you keep your hands clean. Captain, I humbly stand in awe of your ability to surprise. This is impressive, even for you. And by impressive, I mean astonishingly ludicrous. I don't understand. What do you mean it was you? Please, merciful law, give me the strength to get through this ordeal. All right, I'm going to humor you because you're, law help us all, the inspector. What possible motive could you have to kill Halcyon Helen? Ah, I didn't know that. Wait, no, I'm sorry. I'm not about to drag myself into your bizarre logic. You couldn't have killed Helen. You barely knew Halcyon Helen. She wasn't threatening your career or snooping around in your secrets. You see, those are serious, real motives. Of course you need a motive. A motive justifies your behavior. It's not murder if you don't have a motive. It's just senseless slaughter. You weren't even here on the night of the murder. How could you possibly have killed her in the ballroom? No! Don't you have any sense of subtlety? You'd have to deflect attention away from you. You rewrite a mechanical's programming. Every mechanical in this damned colony is armed. Even Burbage has a built-in plasma weapon. Wait, don't move a muscle. Someone's just tripped my alarm. And my security defenses. And killed my patrols. The distillery is under attack. Someone's after me, Inspector. I need you over here right now.